Hi folks, welcome to your MWIS Friday Planner in association with Ellis Brigham. Now there's fine weather throughout this weekend with plenty more warm spring sunshine by day but rather chilly overnight with some frost and some fog patches in the valleys. Do be aware that the ground conditions across the Scottish mountains are still very wintry with lying snow across many of the Munros. Icy conditions then in places. The tops in England and Wales are largely free of snow but broadly be aware of very dry ground conditions, a high or even extreme fire risk at the moment. The outlook for next week becomes colder as the wind flows turn around towards the north and showery conditions with some snow and some hail in the forecast at times. A pretty straightforward looking chart then as we go into Saturday. High pressure is over the top of the British Isles, a weak frontal system away towards the northeast of us which will be producing a zone of cloud and some fragments of low cloud may just be drifting around some of the northwestern coastal hills in Scotland for a time. Some of the tops may just lie above or between cloud layers. It's generally just a few banks of fog in places which will more or less break up but could linger for a while around some coasts. Away from this, uh, just a few fog patches in the valleys and the glens first thing. Otherwise a lot of sunshine, a bit of fair weather cloud developing through the daytime. Mostly light winds but an easterly breeze across the south of Wales may just be quite gusty in places around the Brecon Beacons. A similar picture into Sunday with high pressure staying in charge, sunshine and some fair weather clouds, some morning mist and fog patches in places and a touch of frost first thing. Mostly light winds but we do have a westerly breeze just across the northernmost tops in Scotland and an easterly breeze again across Wales, perhaps the Peak District as well. Now this may just have drawn in some banks of low cloud early in the day. So some mist patches, possibly even some low cloud just covering some hill slopes for a time across that maybe the Peak District and Eastern Hills in Wales for a time, but will largely lift and break up, so sunshine should come through here as well. And again, it'll feel warm during the daytime. Now, as we go into the start of next week, there's slow changes developing. We still have high pressure around into Monday, a rather slack pressure chart with not many isobars around, so light winds overall, but the high is just starting to weaken and lose its influence across us. And there's the scope for just a few showers to break out. This chart just showing a trough, the dashed lines across North Wales and Northern England, very uncertain exactly where that lies, but just the scope in places for a few showers to form through the daytime, possibly some soft hail mixed in with some of those but many places still get away with a largely dry and bright day with just some broken cloud and sunny spells and many of the hills and mountains still in the clear again expect frost first thing and one or two fog patches around as well for Tuesday, again, pressure is just lowering a little bit and weak areas of low pressure and weather fronts which lie toward the north of us just trying to drift in. And there's a lot of uncertainty just how the pattern plays out as we go further into the week ahead. But again, there's the idea of a few showers forming, uh, maybe focused across England and Wales, a few patches of rain possible in places for Scotland. Still a fair amount of dry weather around and still relatively light winds. Temperatures are just starting to drift downwards. We may be close to freezing point by this stage on the highest tops in Scotland, Ben Nevis and the top of the Cairngorms. But most mountains still above freezing point. But where it's been clear, first thing in the morning, again, expect a touch of frost. Now, a fair amount of uncertainty just how the day-to-day -day pattern plays out through the middle of next week as uh, weak zones of low pressure, as mentioned, just try and drift towards us. And the idea is that we're going to drag a colder north to northeasterly airflow across the country as we head onwards into the middle and second half of the week. Low pressure becoming focused toward the south of us, high pressure somewhere toward the north. And that colder air then extends further in with many of the mountains dropping below freezing point, maybe even uh, a as low as six to 800 meters or so in places. Some showers developing as that lower pressure is around. Expect some snow and some hail, maybe even falling to some lower slopes at times uh, through the second half of the week. As mentioned, the detail is going to be very tricky, but the main message as we go through next week is that much colder pattern and some showers at times. Frost overnight will be common as well on the nights where it's clear. Away from any areas of showers as well, the atmosphere being much clearer means visibility at times will be excellent. So compared to hazy conditions at the moment, that will be a much crisper, clearer view across the mountains away from the showers.
Do expect winter type conditions though to be in the forecast as we go into the early days of April. As we look further ahead, and this is up to the week through to about the 11th of April, this chart, the bluer colours indicate still lower than average pressure is around the British Isles. So still a rather showery and probably cool weather pattern would still be in place for a while. So a bit more mixed than what we're seeing at the moment. Maybe just a suggestion with time that the airflow begins to turn back a little bit more to the southwest and helps the lift to lift the temperatures once more. But I think this rather mixed and cool regime could just be around for a week or 10 days or so. Some changes developing then as we go forward, so do keep an eye on the latest forecasts updated every day on the MWIS website for your next three days ahead. That's your Friday Planner in association with Ellis Brigham. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.